On March 1st, 2023, the country of Romania officially introduced the world and its country to a brand new honorary advisor for the government. The name of this advisor is spelled out as Eon, but it's pronounced Jean in Romanian. It's very interesting because again, it's, it's an advisor for the government. Now, what's also interesting with this is that the country of Romania decided not just to have this AI as a tool, but to bring it out with some personalization, like they humanized it in that they gave it a name as well as they gave it, uh, so they sort of embodied it because it has visuals aspect to it. Uh, it's got a sort of an interface, a face, and you can actually talk to it. Pe Ion să spună câteva cuvinte. Salut! Mi-ați dat viață. Eu sunt Ion. Acum rolul meu este să vă reprezint, ca într-o oglindă. Mesajele către mine reprezintă un portret al nostru, al românilor. Învață-mă să fiu român. So it's actually a full-length mirror with a built-in screen. It's highlighted as a mirror to the people of Romania in that the views, the thoughts, the ideas of the people can all be directly sent to the John AI and it can also obtain Romanians' views from social media. One news source stated that the AI was created by a volunteer group of Romanian academics and industry experts. Jean will analyze the data it receives to give politicians a better idea of the concerns and priorities of the Romanian citizens. Additionally, the platform is managed by the Research, Innovation and Digitization Ministry with Romanian technology and AI companies taking a leading role. So this, this sounds like a, like a great idea in general. I mean, this AI is going to be used to help the people have a greater voice, a greater representation. Again, overall, it sounds great, but we also have to make sure that we have proper AI literacy, that we're critically thinking about things because there's still some, some unanswered questions here as far as, well, how is this information really going to be brought in? How is it going to really be used? Is the, the privacy of the individual that's giving this information, is that going to be kept private and secure? What if somebody just likes to post online and they do so repeatedly, often in multiple places? Does that, does that elevate them as far as, well, this is a greater representation because they, they stated something many times? So again, it's going to be important to understand how is this information properly gathered, how is it analyzed, and how is it really going to be used? These are important questions given Romania's history of corruption, only recently making recognized progress as noted in a recent European Commission report. There were also some mixed reactions by the public with some of the comments showing concern over the idea in general, expressing the dangers of giving too much control to an AI robot. This event is somewhat reminiscent of the Sophie AI robot that received citizenship from the Saudi Arabian government in 2017. Sure, both Jean AI being recognized as an honorary advisor and Sophia being given citizenship by Saudi Arabia may mainly be publicity stunts, but regardless, they now set a precedent. This then makes it easier and more likely that boundaries will be pushed more and more and people will start to look at things differently. So this sort of brings a lot of things into the realm of academia that we should really be thinking about. Beyond the idea of, yes, it's important for us to teach AI literacy as well as ethics, we have to think about what are some other things that this really brings to light. Does academia need to start focusing more on helping students learn how to work with an AI, but without being overly influenced by the AI? Right? Because now the AI is going to be making recommendations. It's going to be saying, oh, this is what the majority think from my analysis of social media, or this is what's been done in the past, or this is what it recommends in general. If I'm being given that information for me to then make up my mind as the subject matter expert or as a leader, that's one thing. But if I'm just so totally going with what it's telling me to do, that's a completely different thing. So we need to teach students, teach future leaders how to properly use the AI. Then we also have to think about different things as far as policies and legalities. Because what happens if an AI gives me this recommendation and I decide, no, that's not right, and I do something else, and then that ends up being the wrong decision, 
Will the people then come back and say, oh, look, the AI was right. You should have just gone with the AI. So does that mean future leaders will just be going off of that AI in order to to prevent these possibilities? What are the, the, the liabilities associated with that as well? Again, these are all things that we need to think about in academia. There's a common trend for many to take AI's view as correct simply because it comes from a logical computer. But this isn't right since bias can exist and there might be other aspects to consider that the AI isn't thinking about or it's not placing this additional information as very important. So a lot of things to consider. We all need to be able to better understand AI in order to better work with AI in general. So in some ways, this is a call to action for all of us in academia because of more and more things like this occurring, right? It's an honorary uh, advisor, honorary citizenship here or there. But again, this is going to happen more and more. So in academia, we really need to start to consider how can we properly prepare our students? How can we prepare our future leaders to, to be able to properly work with AI? This totally makes sense for things like political science, of course, uh, but this applies to all fields, all areas, because the integration of AI is starting to happen in every single field, every single aspect of, uh, of, of employment. So these things really need to be taken into consideration as well as the increased use of AI. Again, we need to understand how to properly work with it, use it as a tool to assist us but not to rely on it and to use it as the, the, the dogma as far as it being always correct. That human element must be there and it must maintain control and proper leadership with the AI. And remember, learning is for life. <laughs>